How do you embed an image into an Illustrator document? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. First, we need an image, so let me take a screenshot. Okay, we got the screenshot. Now let's head over to Illustrator and I'll show you how to embed this into your document. To start off with, it's just a regular old basic document, no issues there. I'm gonna go up to File, down to Place. So we're placing an image into our document. That's Shift Command or Control P. Once we open up that into our dialog box, we're gonna be able to navigate, of course, whether you're on Windows or Mac, to the folder you wanna find your screenshot from. We're just gonna take this latest screenshot I had here. And the first option to show you here is this little link button down here. Now, if you uncheck this, you're gonna have an embedded image into your document. If you check this, you're gonna have a linked image in your document. I'm gonna leave it check marked because uh, the other way you're already finished. So let's leave it linked in case you already have a linked image in here. If not, you can just bring it in embedded like that. But if you do have a linked image, I'm gonna show you how to convert this little image into an embedded file in your document. So if you have a document open or you received a document from other people that have linked files in it, here's what you gotta do. A couple things you can look at. When we have this image selected on the right hand side in our properties window, and if you don't see these windows, properties is in the window drop down here, and also you can find your links right here. But this linked file, we can click on that link, and it'll show us some options here, especially if we drop it down of where that location is and all the different aspects of this image file. We also have some options to relink this image, which is kind of nice and handy for you if you wanted to relink images. This little drop down up here actually gives you some more options to work with, including this button called Embed Images. Once we click that, this image is embedded into our Illustrator document. Now, what does this mean? What is an embedded image versus a linked image? A linked image is sitting on your desktop somewhere, on your computer, physically on your device, separate from the actual Illustrator document. If you embed an image, it's taken all of that image and all of the data with it and sticking it right into your Illustrator document. So what's gonna happen? Your Illustrator document is not just full of vector files anymore. It's gonna be full of bitmaps, JPEGs, PNGs, all this other data. So it's going to increase the size of your Illustrator document file. So keep that in mind when you're embedding images. Now you can also do this in reverse. So we can click on this image. It's currently embedded into our file. So Illustrator knows that image exists. We can go up to window down to links, or we can click that same button we clicked in our properties panel before the image object type over here. But if we pull down these links, click the hamburger menu, we can actually unembed, which basically means it's going to save this image back to the folder you want it to be saved in. So we can just hit on this screenshots folder, name it image and save it there. So now it's actually linked to that spot that we saved it. So you can do this in sort of reverse as well. Now the last way that you can embed this if you hadn't done anything like that before and you haven't gone into the menus and all that kind of stuff is just this little quick action embed. You can embed a copy of the original image in your properties panel as long as that image is selected. Just click that and it's going to give you some import options. But basically, if this were a Photoshop file, you can convert layers to objects, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, or you can flatten to a single image and just hit OK. So now this guy is embedded into the document. So that's pretty much it for embedding images into your document in Illustrator. Also a little bit on linked images versus embedded and how to go back and forth between those two. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below, but it's pretty simple. Just remember, it's going to increase the file size of your document. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket and subscribe for more Illustrator tutorials. I'll see you guys next time.